So today, I'm oh, sorry, let me just put these on. <clears throat> so today I want to, well, these aren't reading glasses that I have on. This is a different type of review. I'm actually gonna review blue light glasses that really help in certain ways, especially with like eye health and you know mind health and everything. And I'm gonna talk about the Gunner Riot glasses. And years ago, I'll take these off so they're a little less distracting. Four or five years ago, I actually reviewed uh, a pair of glasses from Gunner, who's the brand, G-U-N-N-A-R, called the Shade Dogs. And they were a little bit of a tighter fit glasses. I'll cover all that in a second. But the whole purpose of blue light glasses for you know computer use, video editing, photo editing, gaming, etc., is for prolonged, look, prolonged looking at a digital screen, which you know causes eye fatigue. You could be susceptible to headaches and migraines, which with how my one eye is, it's very light sensitive at times. And with long exposure to like light, uh, I do develop headaches pretty easily. So I needed something that is very reliable and there are many options out there, but I do trust uh, Gunner stuff. And once again, I bought these on my own. Uh, you know, they didn't send them or anything. But the cool thing about these, and once again, I'm talking about the Gunner Riots. They are $50, and I'll tackle a little bit what they do in a second. So as I was saying, years ago, I actually had a pair of the Gunner Shade Dogs um, before I kind of got rid of them, and they were, a, they were an $80 pair of sunglasses. I still think they're $80 to this day. They were decently worth it, in my opinion, but it had a couple little drawbacks. Now, I've got a bigger head. I've always kind of had a bigger head, but I don't like anything like tight or compressing around my head or face or, or anything like that. And the problem with the shade dogs is they had a nice like steel flexible frame, which, you know, was very reliable. They were tight around the temples. And that's one of the big things when you're looking for glasses, especially maybe for gaming, if you're wearing a headset and everything. But if you're just in general video editing, still using kind of studio headsets, you want something that doesn't stick out and hurt as you have your ear cups, you know, around your ears, you know, going against the glasses. And the Shade Dogs were that, they were tight. But the Temple Fit was 130 millimeters and that's very tight compared to what I'm talking about today, the Gunner Riots, which have 140 millimeter Temple. So that 10 millimeter difference is absolutely big. So the Gunner Riots, why I, why I kind of prefer these now? Well, with the Shade Dogs, they only come in one different thing. See, they're pretty reflective. Um, with the Shade Dogs, they only come in one version of tint, and that is uh, tint version 65, which basically is full on amber, uh, you know, heavily uh, yellow tinted when you look at a screen, but it blocks out so much light and it instantly relieved any kind of eye fatigue and headaches I was getting, and it is so worth the investment. But then I decided to not wanna wear them for like probably about a year, year or two, and then recently it's just starting to happen again, so I wanted a different option, but I wanted a bigger frame and bigger temple fit um, to be comfortable, and that's these $50 Riots. Cool thing is the Riots come in two different tints. They have that um, normal kind of 65 that a lot of people get, and then they have the 35, which is their blue light tint, which are more clear. Now, I don't know if you can see, you actually kind of can a little bit, is that they still do have a little bit of a yellow tint, so they're not fully clear. Um, I've tried some of the cheap ones from Amazon in that regards. Now, while they're clear, I don't, they didn't work for me. And I think that there are actual clear options with no tint on them, but ah, I just, I, I, I trust the brand and I trust what they do. And I don't mind a little bit of the yellow tint, the amber hue. Um, cause I can just kind of adjust for that, whatever I'm working on, but for prolonged use, these are absolutely perfect. Now, the thing about these is that these aren't like steel kind of build. Um, they are a bit plastically, a uh, plasticky, but they're a very durable fiber. Like, you know, if I kind of like tug a little bit, it does have a little bit of flex to it and doesn't seem like it would absolutely break, but these aren't the most well-built things in the entire world. Obviously, if you do a little too much, you know, I'm pretty sure they'll break, but you know, they're rather thin, kind of think of them like a sunglassy type of thing. And that's kind of the, the fit, the look and everything that you have. And they do fit well under a pair of headphones. And the other cool thing about these is that they don't look like blue, like, you know, glasses, gaming glasses. When I used to wear the Shade Dogs at work, they, they're a bit more distinct. You know, maybe I've already rolled the clip of that. They look like gaming glasses. They got the really heavy yellow tint, etc. So everyone goes, oh my God, you're wearing those glasses, ha 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 where these just fit in a bit more, you know, and they're, uh, they're more stylish, I guess, a little more normal looking. Now, the only downside I've, I've noticed about these glasses in regards to like the reflection, which, which is fine, but 
you can kind of see it a little bit on the inside of your glasses if you're kind of like at a different angle than what your screen viewing is. You can kind of see it up top or, you know, or down low a little bit. Um, it's it's not that distracting, but it is def it is noticeable. You will see something. But I've been using these for a couple weeks now, and um, all the issues I've had, they're pretty much gone. Um, definitely no eye fatigue. I can have the computer screen on the brightest setting that I have or the TV playing, you know, games or something so that, you know, I can get, you know, bypass some of the shadow looks and you can really see a little bit more. And I don't, it feels like I'm just looking at a screen that's super comfortable to look at. Um, I'm not getting anything harsh and I don't feel tired after, you know, gaming for an hour or two or looking at a computer screen, editing or doing, you know, or for work for, you know, eight hours a day. So it definitely helps a lot. And I highly recommend looking at these riot glasses right here. Like I said, they're very comfortable. There's no like rubber padding or anything on them, like on the nose bridge or anything, but they're comfortable. They're not tight, they're wide. And like I said, they fit well under a pair of headphones for gaming, for video editing, etc. Just like I said, the only thing is you see a little bit of the reflective bits on the inside and they aren't fully, fully clear. I'm seeing they're like the 35 rating, um, but they're very close to being B. So that all being said, it also has, before I wrap it up, Something that Gunner never touts is the slight magnification. So you'll notice if you, you know, put them on and off, and then you don't even know the exact number, but there is slight magnification that it gives you as well. And I love that feature compared to some of the other glasses that I've tried and something Gunner doesn't list. But you do get slight magnification with them, and I think that's amazing. All in all, for 50 bucks, these Gunner Riots, um, they're exactly as you think they would be. Um, once again, if you're looking for absolute clear, these aren't those but they're, very, they're a very, very good in-between, if not more close to clear than the full-on amber tint you get with most glasses. But the Gunner Riots, they're wide, they're great, and um, I think it's an easy investment for 50 bucks. So if you have any questions or comments about you know blue light computer glasses, uh, I've always had to look into them. Um, let me know, I'd be glad to answer, and, or anything about these Gunner Riots. Um, let me know down in the comments below. But um, Gunner, thanks for making good stuff. You know, it's uh, Highly recommended.